Hi everyone, today I would like to talk about reading because uh, my friend uh, Amanda she doesn't like reading very much so I, by talking with her I think this topic is a very important one for people and uh, I always say to my friends that uh, if you don't read you have bigger problems than you know you have so many big problems, right Amanda? Yes. No, you I, have um, problems than me. And we all have problems, and we have so many problems. But uh, um, if we can read, we can fix the problems one by one. And if you cannot fix the problem by reading one book, you can read two books. If you cannot uh, fix it by reading two books, you can uh, use three or four books. So, it's, reading is very important because reading is upgrading your brain and the brain is our most powerful tool and if we don't read, if we don't think deeply we don't use the, this, this tool uh, efficiently we are wasting the tool so, and, but the point is that how can we uh, develop this habit because for a lot of people we don't have this uh, habit and reading is not very um, natural to us we have this uh, reading uh, I mean reading is very new to human beings and we haven't developed this kind of uh, genes to read so it's not very natural to us so uh, for people like, uh, like this I suggest people to uh, read uh, about two pages a day you know how I usually solve my problem? yeah how? how do you solve your problem? I usually uh, spend time with friends and to talk with each other yeah. they will tell me their story and we share our ideas yeah. that's very good if you have problems you can be very humble to ask those smart guys it's a very good idea I, I, I see a lot of people they BS a lot you know, it's a blah 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 but they, they are not very humble to ask questions this is very bad but I want to say that uh, by reading you are listening to those experts if you want to learn investment who will you turn to? you can turn to Warren Buffett by reading his book this guy will not talk to you face to face so by opening uh, his book you are listening to him you are consulting him who has many years of uh, uh, knowledge or experience about this area so why don't you read? and probably maybe later in your life you will meet some problems that you cannot find some experts in your life so all you need to do is to go to the bookshop or go online buy some books about this so in order to build this habit so now we agree that it's a must it's very crucial to read right yeah so to develop this habit use the mini habits the method i i told you before that is read two pages a day it's so simple it's not that difficult if it's too difficult you still have the resistance you are still not very uh, re uh, willing to uh, open a book read two pages then you can uh, minimize it to uh, one page and if you don't really want to uh, if opening one page opening the book and read one page is so difficult you just need to open the book why so difficult? Easily do that. No resistance. Just like raising your hand and touch your nose. This is very easy. And if you can read, and then you can become a better person. And then you can I change your life. Am I not good enough? Yeah, you're good, but uh, I think you can be better and better. Everybody wants a better life. Everybody, uh, if. I think the progress is the journey is more important it's not about the result if you don't make progress I think people will think that they are on the same uh, place the same level and people will not feel that uh, satisfied with life but if the journey during the journey you are improving every every day every day you learn something new I think you will be more of uh, you will feel more fulfilled that's my advice about reading and reading is a very efficient way to uh, gain some new knowledge.
improve yourself, do anything. Anything you want to do, you can just use learning to improve it. You know, when I was a little girl, uh, since I was in primary school, I, I prefer to go outside and... Uh, to have fun. Yeah, when I was in primary school, I preferred to go outside and uh, uh, jump ropes mm -hmm. with friends. And uh, if you ask me to sit down and read some books, I, I prefer to go out and have fun. Uh, because my mother, she is a teacher in our school, so she has some books at home. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I bring those books to our uh, classroom, a lot of uh, classmates they drawing, drawing together, and and uh, so we watch a book together. But I can only sit down like for ten less than ten minutes, and other classmates they are focused on the book. But I just can't, I just can't sit down with them. I I I I know I know this guy. I know this guy. I got uh, uh, Richard Branson. You know, in le, no, no. Let me, let me, t let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you this story about this guy called Richard Branson. You know, this guy is the founder of uh, Virgin Group. It's a super big group with many, maybe uh, 200 companies. This guy has 200 businesses, and this guy, I think, he had dyslexia. Means that he cannot, uh, maybe he cannot read properly when he was a little boy. But later he developed this, this uh, habit to read. Maybe you have this problem, maybe, uh, but it's... And this guy, later he wrote some books. He has dyslexia. A kind of disease that, that he cannot sit still and, and read or write, maybe. But, but this guy, Later, he said that reading is so important, you have to read. And he has more than 200 businesses, maybe 400 businesses. This guy strategic people to read. And let alone like people like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, or Warren Buffett. Those people all read a lot, or read a lot. So I think we should learn from them, simply. If you, you don't trust me, you need to trust them. I, I, I trust you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you win. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>